Hi, uh, Jesse here with GPS City. I'm going to show you around the mapping software used to track your Garmin GTU 10. And of course, to access it, you need to log into your My Garmin account, and then on the right hand side, just click on Locate Device, and it's going to log us in. Okay, now we're in the system. It's just going to take a minute or two to pull the location of the device. While it's doing that, let's just talk about some of the buttons that we see on the screen. So starting up here, we have a plus and a minus. That is for zooming in and zooming out. We also have a tab here that says road, and if we drop it down, we could change the mapping to aerial or satellite. It just takes a second to come in, and as we zoom in, the higher resolution photos will be used and they're really good photos as you can see and then we have a hybrid of the two which basically takes the vector map and overlays it on top of the aerial photography we could also enter in a address in here and find it just like so and it shows the GPS city general address right here. We have our message tab here. So if we click on it, any messages are going to show up in here. I don't have any to look at, so there's nothing there. And then we have our help. Just in case you need help using the software, just click on it. And it's going to have a bunch of commonly asked questions and answers. Down at the bottom here, we have our scale. You'll see 50 meters, 200 feet. As we zoom in and out, that changes. If we're browsing the map and we want to zoom into our location where our GTU 10 is, all we need to do is click on this first button here and it's going to keep us centered on the map just in case we can't find where that location was. There's also a few other buttons over here. We have our settings button. When we go into settings, there's a few things we can change. The name of the device. We could also add extra services here. I've already added the deluxe service, which is $5 per month and allows me to do a track history of the GTU 10. We have time zone conversion. We could set our time zone for our area. And then we have our battery usage. This is where we set it to make it last longer or to send in more data. We can set it from heavy to balanced to moderate to on demand and you'll see over here it tells you roughly how many hours or days or weeks it's going to last. So on heavy outside of geofence it's going to only last about 20 hours inside of geofence about 24 hours. And then we have balanced where we have 10 inside of geofence, 3 days outside then we have four weeks inside and then five outside with moderate and then on demand where we pull it it's going to be around seven days I'm going to put it on heavy and if we scroll down some more we have our notifications we could have it notify us when the battery power is low and then we have our contacts we could have it contact us via email or phone we could add contacts down here also and we could save our settings once they're changed. You'll notice that there's another button right here. This is to get the most recent location or in other words pull your device. And we have a battery meter here. We have the name of the device. If we click on the name of the device it's going to bring up a few more options. We could locate it we could see the history and you'll see all the history points in here and you'll even see them on the map and if we click on one it'll zoom us into that specific point we have our geofences this is where we could add or remove geofences we could use the create geofence button and we could also edit them remove them and add which contacts get notifications when a device enters or leaves a geofence and last we have followers we could invite friends to follow us so that was a quick rundown of the mapping software if you want to learn more about this device visit GPS City